Hello, I'm on a fax Mars. I'm not going to explain uh, your. I'll try to make this video brief. Why it is it uh, brick and mortar retailers are losing so much market share to the internet? Put simply, you people are not trying to satisfy your customers, you're trying to satisfy your uh, suppliers. My story begins uh, sun last Sunday in Dollar General in Lakeville, New York. It's a thriving little community uh, northern end of Nietzsche's Lake, right? So I stopped in there to get a few things, and one of the things I wanted to get was a different brand of CDs that I have. I, and, uh, when they get some more CDs, and all they have was HPs. I did buy them, by the way, perhaps foolishly. Uh, they're not a very good brand of CD. As near as I can tell, I'm having problems with them. I'm using them for music. I can pr probably use them for storage, but for music, they suck. I'll just use them for storage. I'll find somebody else that has them. They go up to, so the clerk that ha helps me, I also want some jewel cases to store music CDs in so I don't get ruined flopping around in the car. Now, I'm going to call the clerk Little Miss Snippy. She's one of these white middle class girls. She thinks she's superior to everybody else. And she was snippy. I don't know her name, but so her name is Little Miss Snippy. Anyway, so that all she had was these sleeves, which I bought. And I told her that, you know, HPs aren't a very good brand. I said they're an inferior brand. I stand by that statement, by the way. And I said, you know, you really need to suggest to your people, well, uh, you need to get a different brand, because that brand sucks. She says, ooh, well, uh, this is what they send me. They just send it to us. This is your problem. This is why you're losing market share. This is only part one of my story. Uh, this is why you're losing market share, you retailers. Is you're trying to shove stuff down people's throat. And you don't care as long as they're buying it. But you don't care what people are looking for. This is a constant issue around here. Uh, Dollar General's fine for some things. I, I uh, regularly buy my lunch there. Well, that's fine. We really can't get much of anything, uh, that's really useful there. I do buy some stuff for them. They're fine for some things. But your retailers, you just don't care whether people, you're not trying to please your customers. You're not trying to say, okay, what does a customer wants? Can we do anything better to serve our customers? Can we get things that they're really going to buy? No. You just take this crap that comes from China and say, oh, gee, here it is. We want you to buy it. That's not the way this is supposed to work. So we're going to move to part two of my story. I need the headset that I'm currently using, and I hope the thing will work for me. It's experimental and very expensive. See, I didn't really want another headset. But, that's part two of the story. I set out to find Staples in Henrietta. I went to the local mall, Marketplace Mall, and asked around. One person insist, insisted I go across the way 
to some place called Office Depot. Well, I forget what he said. I didn't find what he uh, was talking about. Another person didn't know anything yet, uh, what I was looking for. Because, you know, you have a whole mall there and you can't get a desktop microphone. That's what I was looking for. A whole mall and you can't get a desktop microphone. What does that tell you? Uh, in this computer age, the entire mall of stores don't sell anything like computer parts and that type of thing. It tells you they're just trying to cram stuff down your throat. So, I tried, never did find Staples. That was my primary store because according to their According to the stable site, they have what I want. My uh, backup, which I eventually did find, well, I thought I was going to find staples there. It turns out it was Office Max. My backup had this very expensive headset. Incredibly, they didn't have a desktop uh, microphone. Don't know why. And the people generally don't have much knowledge. This is the other thing. I I couldn't really tell whether it was Windows 10 compliant, which apparently it is. I couldn't tell anything about it except that it was expensive. Which I already knew. I had already checked out Office Max. It was my backup store in case I couldn't find staples, and I knew they were expensive. But again, they actually had relatively little equipment, even though they uh, touted their computer section. You see, uh, these stores have this attitude, and I don't like attitude. You start giving me attitude, I get pissed. They have an attitude that your the customer is there to please them. I'm sorry that's not the way this works. You are there to please the customer. That's how this thing works. You're there to please the customer. At least I thought it worked like that. But they don't give a shit. You know, you suggest to them, well, yeah, you need to look, get this and this and this, you know, why do you have such a small section, it's supposed to be this big box store? I actually call them big bucks stores, but that's me. But, um... Uh, they didn't have that much. They did have this headset, which is very expensive, roughly over 50 bucks. I did not want the headset, but I was so exasperated with searching around for a simple desktop mac microphone in this technological world that I just gave up. And this is the whole point, you retailers. This is why you're losing market share. It's not because the internet is taxed too little. That's bullshit. You gotta pay. Uh, you gotta pay shipping, and handling, and all that. It's not because of the taxes. Media is lying about that, or lack of taxes. I'm gonna make this very simple once again. The reason this is happening, the internet's overtaking you, is that I can go on the internet and get virtually anything I want. I go around the stores, I can get, sure, I can get clothing. There's miles and miles and miles of stores selling clothing. You can get that all day long, if I want. But I can't get practical things for computers and gadgets. Oh, and there's miles and miles of uh, 
by the way, uh, cell phone places too. But computer stuff, you can't get it. And here's another thing. Your retailers, you start switching out your uh, inventory halfway through the winter. Last winter, I kept looking for fire stars, and it was still very cold, and I couldn't get them. Oh, we got spring in now. We want you to buy spring. Total disrespect to the customer. They are there to please themselves, and they're not there to please their customers. This is why you're losing market share, folks. It's not because the internet is taxed too little. It's like, you people don't care about your customers. You want the customers to please you. That's your attitude, and I don't like attitude. Instead, you're supposed to say, okay, we want this, we'll get it for you one way or the other. We're sorry, we didn't have... We didn't realize people still need this, even though it's 20 freaking degrees outside. I don't like doing the voice covers. He is messy. It's a pain in the neck. But there you go. You people want to uh, start getting market share back. You gotta, you gotta have in stock what people are looking for. I spent hours looking for just a simple desktop microphone. It's nothing doing. I never did find it, never did find staples either. I was uh, given incorrect directions. I'll find them someday and I'll note their location because I'm going to need them in the future. Oh, and Office Max, by the way, offer, advertises uh, microphones, desktop microphones, I believe. You can't get any help. Everything's in Spanish and other languages. And they come off with attitude towards you. Here's what I'm talking about. They have microphones. I never found any of these desktop microphones, even though they're advertised on their site. Here's another thing. They advertise stuff and they don't have it. Now, if they advertise something, you know, I would have been happy with something like this microphone here. If they advertise something and then you go in the store and say, well... We don't have that item, it's, we have this more expensive item. Then you get something called bait and switch, which is illegal. But unfortunately, it's not illegal to advertise it on your website and not have it. This is why you're losing market share, you folk, uh, retailers. I don't care whether you like it or not, that's why you're losing market share. It's not due to lack of taxes for the internet. It's because you people are stupid and you don't care about your customers. You just care about cramming stuff down people's throats. As long as you sell, 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 that's all you care about. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve this message and screw the media.